Explorer, who is a character created by our friend the Best Quest. Mm hmm And uh, he is a monster, and I hate him. <laughs> Hey, welcome to XCOM. I'm Matt. And I'm Austin. It's been a long time since I've actually watched these cutscenes, considering I just skip them. Yeah, I've never seen them. Yeah. Who are they? <laughs> they're essential. Yeah, never shuts up. Mm -hmm. And they're Sh uh, Shen, the engineer. Okay. Mm. So you have played this game a bit. I have played about 400 hours of this game. Okay. Because I figured with as much as you skip cutscenes, you wouldn't know the engineer lady's name. Shen? Uh, yeah, Shen. Okay. It's the same as in the XCOM Enemy Unknown. Oh, alright. Yeah, she's the old engineer. <laughs> Look Dumb. at that sneaky boy. Sneaky Goral. Sneaky Goral. My bad. It's all good. Uh, I'm going to take some of the time to explain, because uh, there's a lot of people who do different Let's Plays. I think, yeah, I enabled Iron Man. Yes. Uh, I'm only playing on veteran difficulty because I like to play on commander difficulty a lot, but sometimes like I'll have a lot of false starts, mm -hmm. and I want to make sure that we can just go through all of this. Yeah, that way it's enjoyable for everyone. Mm -hmm. And then there's a lot of mods. <laughs> yeah, not just like soldier customization mods. There are alien mods, some gameplay mods. Some skelly boy mods. Some skelly boys. So random soldiers are gonna look like utter trash. Yeah, that's the good thing about these uh, pre-rendered ones. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't have to see Frogman. <laughs> no, Frogman looks fine. But No, oh! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not supposed to swear. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have a friend nicknamed Frogman, but he was talking about a man that in a randomization, looked like a frog. Yeah, it was wild. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that the Reapers were this early on. Uh, yeah, like, uh, if I... Oh, another thing. I don't have any of the DLC missions enabled because the exit locations do not work about 50% of the time, and I don't want to deal with that. That's fair. Mm -hmm. I, I really like the DLC missions, but due to probably some of the fuckery with the mods, they don't work half the time. Yeah, it's a pretty stable game otherwise. It's a pretty stable game otherwise. So does that change if you don't start at the Reaper HQ? Uh, no, that's all. That's just a War of the Chosen new thing. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the mission Lost and Abandoned is what gives you the Reapers if you don't start at Reaper HQ. Okay. Uh, and that's like the third mission in the game. Alright, alright. So you get them pretty early on. Uh, I'm starting with a Reaper because I like to. I get it. I, and that way we get our friend. Yeah, we get our friend. Uh, most of the soldiers that we're going to have are friends, families, and other associates. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, if you want to comment in the description, or not comment in the description, you don't have the power to do that. Civilians. <laughs> If you want to make a comment suggesting a character, uh, sometimes there'll be random characters that I will have to use because some of my people die. Mm hmm Do you think it's possible to do a Deathless run of XCOM? Oh yeah, it's most definitely possible. Okay. Unless you play the tutorial. Yeah. Yeah, in the tutorial you get two soldiers and they both die. Oh, alright. Mm hmm But then, then you play Gatecrasher, which is the real first mission. Which I disabled tutorial and beginner's voice over, but they still talk so much. They do. I'd hate to see it with beginner's voice over. Mm -hmm. I think there was one time you were watching me play this where like I just got into the map and, you, and Central <laughs> just kept talking. Yeah, and you, you like couldn't do anything either. Yeah. Uh, uh, so they stole a boy back. Mm -hmm. And now they're walking. No, they didn't steal the boy back quite yet. Okay. Now, this is them getting ready to steal the boy back. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is it just weird? Did it get hot in here? It did. It's warm. It's it, warm in this... It's usually super cold in this basement, is the thing. Yeah. And it was all day until we started recording this. You know? It's just, uh... It's just that the world can't handle how many mods are in this... A lot of them you're probably not going to see early on. Like, it's a lot of 
high or mid to high level up aliens. Mm -hmm. uh, there will be a few classes you'll see. I downloaded a lot of classes. I gotcha. I am excited to see who the starting people are, who we start. Yeah, that's always a fun little gamble. Mm -hmm. uh, I did get rid, like, initially I had a pretty full character pool of ridiculous looking characters. Mm -hmm. But I got rid of some of them. There's still, like, the off chance we might start with Chief. <laughs> yeah. Which is always fun. Is Doom Slayer? Yeah, Doom Slayer's still in there. Okay. But I had people like Guile and... Oh, gotcha. You got rid of those ones. Mm -hmm. Terry Crews. <laughs> I miss him every day. I miss him every day. Terry Fireball Crews. <laughs> yeah, that was his call sign, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen Matt play a bit of this. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd say a lot. A lot. Yeah. But I have a hard time saying a lot because it's nothing near how much of this you've actually played. Which is quite, quite a lot. Because in, I would say I've seen a total of three playthroughs. Yeah. And I have no idea how many times you've actually beaten this game. I've lost count. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because, like... After I go through a playthrough, I go through the workshop, I get a few more mods, and then it feels like a fresh game. Yeah. Yeah. And you're just like, yeah, I started a new run. I For the longest time, I thought that you didn't beat Like, you just lost a run, mm -hmm. and so you started over. Mm -hmm. But that is not the case. <laughs> okay, so starting crew, we got our friend Nil. Mm -hmm. We got my brother Pizza Party. <laughs> Uh, we got Nova from StarCraft 2. Enchflor. Enchflor. Who has legs again? I got rid of his legs! <laughs> I'm sorry, Sam. Splorv has legs. I, I don't know why that keeps happening. He was just a shirtless boy. Yeah. Uh, Splorv was a character created by our friend The Best Quest. Mm -hmm. And uh, he is a monster, and I hate him. <laughs> Splorv, not... Not you. Yeah, no, we, we love you, Sam, but, um, Splorb makes me uncomfortable to look at. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, that's one of the things is the faceless mod. Uh, there's so many ra randos that just don't have faces. It terrifies me every time. I get it. Like, imagine meeting a boy who didn't have a face. If you don't have a face, please tell me how. <laughs> yeah. Like, just no head. You just have eyeballs. Non- that don't blink. And a mouth. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> okay. Are you about to say something potentially insensitive? Yeah. Okay. Shouldn't do that. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to be a little more kosher. Mm-hmm. Uh, I might need to uninstall the current uh, Nova mod I have because it's the vanilla package. But with there's a War of the Chosen one that allows you to actually change the colors of Nova. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm playing with an Xbox controller on PC, and it's real weird. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, Pay attention. we tried to get a comfortable way to record without having to buy a new microphone. Mm -hmm. And, like, we were going to save up for it, but then we just got to the point where we were going to be playing XCOM so fast. Yeah. Because, like, I, uh, there wasn't really any other games I, I've been wanting to play. Well, now there's a game that I want to play, but it's a little too late to start the process for recording that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, anyways, I don't think I'm ready to do a Let's Play of that. I need to beat the game first. Yeah. It's but, too late early. It's too late. It's too late, but also too early. Yeah. And I said it's no. too late to start the game. So... There are some strange niggles of playing this with... A... Can you say that again? It, there's strange things about playing. Alright. I've never heard that word before. It's like a little small issue. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I said say that again. <laughs> okay. I've never heard of it before. Sorry. It's okay. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, from there. What one of the... There's a lot of small issues with playing with a controller, um, okay. as opposed to a keyboard and mouse. Yeah. And getting used to that. Where'd the rest of them go? <laughs> He's just having a good time on his own. 
Okay, they just disappeared? Yeah! Whatever, please don't get caught. Who's gonna see? Oh, there he is now. <laughs> Frank? <laughs> oh! <laughs> There's no one over there! What just happened? That would be, that would be pretty genuinely terrifying. It would. Alright, so he's in cover. Uh, let's try to move. Pizza Steve. <laughs> They call me PIZZA! P-I-Z-Z-A? -Z -Z I should have thrown a nade. Oops. Oh well. Yeah, it worked. It worked. Now, these guys are out of cover. Nil should still- Oh, he's not gonna move. I forgot. Yeah, cause he already saw. Mm -hmm. He saw his friend die. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess that guy's not in cover. See you later. Yeah. We're the good guys! Mm -hmm. It's just an ambush. Yeah, it's just an ambush assassination, and, uh, you know, we're gonna be blowing up a monument of peace. Yeah. I that's, mean, that's what the heroes do, right? It depends, really. I've seen the heroes do worse things. No time like uh, I'm so fucked up. <laughs> End of Evangelion's a pretty good movie, but I don't know if Sh Shinji's a protagonist. I don't know if he's a hero. He saves the world. <laughs> Depending on how you look at it, that's up to interpretation, really. What if you look at it blindly? Huh? You know, I, <laughs> I don't know how you can do that, but you know, I'll just, I'll just let you have that. Thank you. All right. Hopefully, these guys move, or they don't. Okay. If they do not. <clears throat> so let's get Nil to just throw a bomb at him. Has the pod not been activated? Uh, no, they have not, because technically the only person who can actually see them is Nil, who's in cover, so that doesn't activate the pod. Okay. Mm-hmm. And this won't reveal her. Nice. But they'll probably move and see her. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you... Oh. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> Where'd my friends go? <laughs> God, where are the heroes? I love the casual point he has, though. Hey! <laughs> yeah. uh, it's really weird playing on veteran difficulty again. I bet. Mm -hmm. You got an experimented magazine, though. Yeah. Also, I did not download any any mod that makes them drop more loot, but <laughs> lately there's been some weird things going on in my game. I gotcha. Mm -hmm. I don't have an example. I, I had one. Locked and loaded. Yeah, you were ready to go? Yeah, no, lost it. Okay. <laughs> I do remember one time I came over and the loading screen, which is just one of your characters pinned against a wall, but their arms were just like twisted around their whole body. They were 10 feet tall. Yeah. You know, I might, if we ever get recording and have that, I might I might just display that because it's, it's grotesque. <laughs> it is. Mm -hmm. And they're screaming the whole time. No, that's just that's just what you're imagining. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, another one of the mods I downloaded is Flawless. You know, just uh, if you get a Flawless, you get little bonuses. There's a few easy mode mods on here as well. Okay, I didn't know about that. Yeah. There's a lot of mods I actually don't know about. Mm-hmm. It's really hard to keep up, man. <laughs> I get you. Like, you know, for a while, it was like I found a new mod every week, so mm -hmm. I get it. Anyways, that's Operation Gate Crasher. Yeah, crash them gates, boy! I don't know if we're going to uh, show too much of like the in-base stuff, because this mission was obviously pretty short. It's Gate Crasher. Yeah. Uh, we'll at least show what we promote these guys into. Yeah. And that'll be about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got some stuffs. And, oh yeah, there's cutscenes anyways. Mm -hmm. Gotta talk to these guys. Yeah. I also keep skipping these. I haven't watched these in like a year. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I haven't seen them. <laughs> yeah. It's one of the reasons why I was excited for this. I have no idea what's going on in XCOM. I think there's aliens. Uh, actually, they're not aliens. <laughs> they are. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm just messing with you. I wouldn't be surprised. Mm -hmm. But this guy, uh, his name is Dr. Tygen. He is not related to the last scientist, Dr. Volin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it because the last guy's name rhymed with villain? <laughs> uh, Dr. Volin, she was, uh... I don't know if she's alive or dead. I never actually got to finish the Alien Hunter missions, because that's when 
my game started messing up and not letting me finish those types of missions. Gotcha. Mm. So I don't know what happened to Dr. Ballin. Maybe someday we'll find out. Maybe someday. Uh, but this guy was ex-Advent. Oh, okay. Well, not Advent. He was, a, he was a scientist for the aliens, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it's a lot of descriptions. <laughs> yeah, this is a very well-paced game. <laughs> yeah, a lot of a lot of talking in the beginning, and then there's not too much in the middle, and then... And then at the end, it's just like, hey, yeah, there's been a story this whole time, baby. Well, I mean, there has been a story. Chosen! Chosen! Yep. I hope we get the hunter first, and then I have to go talk to Shen. Yeah? Yeah, she's gonna be here and tell me, hey, this is the engineering bay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is mostly gonna be cutscenes. No, yeah, it is. Yeah. And the first cutscene was like 10 minutes long. <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, then Gate Crasher. That's why most people just kind of cut the Gate Crasher, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But I haven't seen it. Yeah, that's fair. I like Shen. Uh, Shen's last gift is a really fun mission. It's a shame that my game doesn't want me to play it. What's Shen's last gift? Uh, it's the mission where you get sparks. Oh, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you go into a tower and uh, that you find out that her dad was working on some robots. Mm. And uh, there's an evil AI named Julian who's like, put me in the spark. And then Shen reveals that uh, on the spark there's like an imprint thing. So then she just touches it and activates an, an, a dormant AI in it. Mm. And then they kill the shit out of Julian. Nice. Mm -hmm. What a prick. Yeah, what a prick, Julian. But you can give Sparks Julian's voice, so I find that funny. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. This insult to injury, I guess. Yeah. We're gonna kill you, but then we're gonna put you in a spark anyway, so I guess you win? <laughs> yeah! Uh, yeah. So, build a facility. Uh, I'm not gonna worry too much about build order. If you notice, I have way more supplies and everything than usual. One of the easy modes is better start light, because there's a lot of things, there's a lot of equipment that the new classes require, so having starting with the base money will make this Let's Play last forever. <laughs> yeah! But yeah, let's promote some of the soldiers. So Splorb should be a necromancer, infiltrator, warrior of light. I'm actually gonna make him a necromancer. Okay, I kind of thought warrior of light would be hilarious, but I get it. It. We're gonna be turning him into another class anyways later down the Let's Play. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but so there's Florb. Uh, my brother uh, can turn into a Fury Reaper Bruiser. Ranger. Ranger. Yeah, he can't be a Reaper. Mm -hmm. I, I'm thinking Fury. What do you think? I don't know what that is. Uh, he's got psionic powers and a minigun. It's the one that's. Uh, you remember that one unit that could take control of people? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. So. Yeah, I don't know, this is another weird side effect, is that now people get free abilities. That was, I don't know what mod that is. <laughs> Maybe that's better start as well. Maybe. And then Nova is going to, mm, she could be a sorcerer. Yeah. But she's also a good sniper. I'm going to go sniper because that's what ghosts are. All right. Yeah. I'm not going to fight you on it. Fair, fair. <laughs> sharp, Anyways, I don't know nothing about team comp in this game. Fair game. enough. Well, now that we have everyone promoted and stuff, how about we take a break? Alright. Bye!